So I wanted to uh, uh, go over a couple things of, with regard to the squirrel problem I was having. Um, initially, I tried to use a have hard trap, and <laughs> the problem is that uh, if it was too small, then the squirrels wouldn't go in it, and if it was too big, uh, they might go in it, but they it was easy to um, for them to sort of trip it and then nothing while nothing was in it because they climbed all over it and it's a little complicated to set up and you catch one um, and that's it it's done you have to um, you have to go keep an eye on it and so forth but um, it was some problems and you catch things you don't want like a groundhog or a, a possum or a squirrel I mean I'm sorry not a squirrel a, a skunk <laughs> yeah that wasn't fun um, so I, I then I got I heard on about uh, this product here. It's uh, um, Supposedly for for rats and in my opinion squirrels are nothing but furry tailed tree rats with a good PR campaign So I, I tried this and that didn't work and um, so I uh, I broke down and I got this this product. It's called the squirrelinator and it says, you know, 25 squirrels in just hours. Well, uh, I'm not sure I, I, I believe that, but uh, I bought one and uh, I'm here, I'm a believer. And uh, maybe not 25 squirrels in hours, but uh, it is really effective and, and uh, more so than any other trap that I have ever, um, ever uh, used. And, and it says, here, I'll just zoom in. Multiple live cat squirrel trap, no assembly required, two doors allow uh, animals to enter uh, from either direction all of that is true absolutely true um, it could not be more simple to to set up you basically lay the trap down on the on the ground this is a picture of it you lay the trap down on the ground and the, uh, the squirrels go in here you put food you pour food in from the from the top down in this middle section here and the squirrels go in and they lift this little flap and then you come back out and then they go back in and they get a little bit more food and they come back out eventually they get so comfortable going in and out that they go in a little too far and the and the and the, the, uh, the gate here that's just a flap it goes down behind them and then they cannot for the life of them figure out how to get out it's awesome so um, I liked it so much I actually bought a second one and uh, one for the front yard by the uh, by the bird feeder and one for the backyard uh, by my peaches um, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a small peach orchard with some apples and some pears and mostly peaches though. And last year, uh, I did not get a single peach because of all the squirrels. I don't know if you can see, but this tree is just laden with peaches uh, here in uh, uh, late June. And uh, hopefully this year we'll, we'll get some. But I have one um, set up over here by the bird, bird feeder. So let's walk over there, see what we got. Uh, so you'll see, there's one on the outside of the of the trap, right there on the that little stone wall. He's walking along, and uh, let's see what we got on the inside. Walk over here, and we have not one, but two on the inside there and they're not happy they're all uh, scared it's just it's funny at first when you get them in the in the in, when they get in the trap they, sometimes they'll stay there for 10 minutes just eating the food not realizing that they've been trapped um, it could not be easier here I'll I'll try and demonstrate sort of what you do um, if you want to transport them or relocate them um, to another area that's uh, probably more conducive for their environment uh, uh, some states you have to be careful it's not legal to transport um, and catch and release if you will so uh, you have to look up your local laws to see what uh, what's permissible I'm not advocating um, breaking the law in any means so anyways so all you do when you come over is you can see this little trap here and uh, they get kind of frantic at first when they realize they can't get out but there's a little a little gate right here and uh, all you have to do is over here you unlatch this and then you pull this gate around to the side 
and that makes it so that that if you're transporting them it doesn't accidentally come loose and we have one for either side over here so we'll just do this and they're squealing at me there we go so then it's done now squirrels like a lot of wild animals have uh, uh, they can get uh, uh, lice or fleas and uh, so here's a good suggestion is when you get this the squirrelinator uh, <coughs> you just um, make sure you keep your box and what I did was I uh, kept the box and I tape it up <coughs> excuse me and uh, and I just lift it up like this very gently you can see and the squirrels adapt and you take it over to your box they're kind of freaking out a little bit they calm down this also helps them to calm down while you're transporting them but you take it over and you put it in the box and uh, then it's dark and uh, they, they they're not as frightened and they scare or are scared and it also helps because then they um, they if there's any fleas or, or or lice or anything on them it doesn't get out in your car if you're transporting them somewhere else or if they uh, you know leave little droppings or urinate or whatever it's not in your car which is always uh, a good thing so I'm gonna pause it right now I'm gonna put it in a box and uh, because I can't do all of it at one well, maybe I can let me try hold on okay so just very gently lower it down in the box and uh, then they, they calm down a little bit it's dark and they uh, they calm down you leave the top open and and then they'll climb around and so forth. And then you can put that in your car and uh, transport them to some place uh, where they'll live a happy and long life, hopefully.